Do you consider giving money to people living on the street but aren't quite sure how to do it? Well, now there's a solution, and all you have to do is feed the meter. Gil Reyes has more from Graham Park. Gil. Yes, Yana, say you want to donate to the homeless. Many of us want to, especially when people approach, but you also want to make sure that the money you give will be put to good use. LA city and county leaders say this is one way to do it. New money meters. Two of them are already up in downtown and more are on the way. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Downtown's councilman Jose Wizard deposits coins in the first of two orange homeless donation meters in Grand Park. This meter's next to the children's play area. April McDonald, here with her son, feels safer contributing this way rather than handing a stranger money. It's a good way to make sure that people's donations are used responsibly and are allocated to um, where they want it to go. Dimes, quarters, any change you can spare goes to a group called C3. They conduct homeless outreach on Skid Row, connecting people with mental health and substance abuse services. It's a way simplistically to give, and it's not hard, and I think it will move people's hearts. In fact, my vision is to hopefully see these meters throughout the county. Supervisor Hilda Solis mentions Grand Park's other meter across from the fountain. The devices are paid for by sponsorships. Sponsoring puts your name on them. And with more machines coming, local leaders expect to raise $43,000 a year on sponsorships alone. In the future, we would like to do is do what Pasadena does. Pasadena matches whatever they raise with some philanthropic organization, and that allows them to multiply the revenue they receive. In downtown, we'll also have meters at El Pueblo Historic Monument, St. Vincent Jewelry Center, the Alexandria Hotel, and the Hayward Manor Apartments. The meters also take credit cards, and big contributions are tax deductible. In Grand Park, I'm Gil Reyes for LA This Week. Local leaders hope to have 12 homeless donation meters in place by the end of the year.